have arrived to Eureka, Nevada. And this find a place to eat. I'm starving. Oh, bar and steakhouse. The Owl Club Bar and Steakhouse. I never thought I'll see those words together and be so happy like I am right now. Well, we are in Eureka, Nevada. Population 700. There's nobody down. It's desolated. Oh, look at that beautiful burger. Drinking a good quarter too. Local beer, by the way. Not from Eureka, but from Nevada. Ah, let's eat, baby. Let's eat. Good restaurant. Anybody who is in Eureka, Nevada, highly recommend it, man. Burger was good. Beer was awesome. We're 70 miles from Austin, and we're going to have to stay there because there's no way we can make it all the way to Fallon. It's too far away. The weather is already getting crappy again. Let's go, baby. Here comes the snow again. Good thing we're only four miles away from Austin, Nevada. She's where we're going to stay tonight because I wouldn't like to be driving on this crap any longer. Now it is snowing hard and I had the feeling this road is frozen because the bike feels like it's riding on ice right now. We gotta go very slow because it is it is frozen. I mean, it's wet, but it's also frozen. So we, we have to take it very, we're only three miles away, but it's gonna be the worst three miles ever. Well, who said that ad adventure riding is always easy stuff? <laughs> frozen road, snow, my visor is completely covered in snow. I can barely see where I'm going. But, you know, doesn't matter how tough it is, I wouldn't change it for anything, man. This is adventure and we love it. It seems we have arrived in Austin. Now, they better have hotels or motels here. I mean, we checked earlier. They said they have five motels. I wouldn't mind camping in this weather, to be honest with you. I would love to do that. But, you know, they didn't bring stuff for our cold weather. So the fact that I'm actually riding in this condition is already a miracle. All right, man, we just uh, met this great fellow rider in this crappy, rainy, snowy, freezing cold weather. Guess where he's from? Cuba. Miami. <laughs> Small world. Man. So tell us a little bit about your story. You're, you're riding across country and... Yeah, I'm on my learner's permit. Um, I got it three and a half months ago. I left three weeks ago. All right, just in case you guys didn't hear the first part, he's still in his learner's permit. <laughs> he got this bike how long ago? About eight weeks ago. And how many miles you already put on it? 8,500. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're no longer Knievel. Evil Knievel. That, he's Evil Knievel. It's a 250cc naked, no windshield. Uh, I don't have winter gear. I only have a hammock, no tent. I'm budgeting $1,500 for the 10 weeks, so $20 a day. And even with the motel yesterday and the motel today, because of the snow, I'm still under budget. Quit my job, sold everything. I had a car and I sold it. And <laughs> I don't like easy. You know, there's no adventure if it's too easy. So hey, man. that's why I don't check the weather. I don't have a cell phone that works. And now I know I can ride through snow. It's confidence building. Every situation is a new thing that just teaches you and just builds your confidence and your skills. Yeah. Nice meeting you, brother. You too. guys we're here in Austin Nevada and we are heading out to Fallon today uh, pick up the drone and from there we're going to uh, where well, we're going to cross to California we may make it to Napa but if we don't we're gonna stay uh, somewhere because it's still like 400 miles to Napa so hope the weather holds up baby all right we are just leaving Austin and it is freezing again the motorcycle is marking 34 degrees I've done one mile so far and I'm already cold a lot more than yesterday 32 degrees. This is all freezing fog. It is cold, people! Finally broke up of that fog, man. That was terrible. And the temperature went from 32 to 39 in like 20 seconds. We have arrived, Fallon, Nevada. Now I'm looking for the post office. All right, we just picked up the drone at the post office. We're gonna find a place to have a coffee and uh, be on our way. We just left Nevada. I wasn't even paying attention. We are officially in California. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, uh, uh huh. It's getting chilly though. California, you're not supposed to be this cold.
July, we just stayed in Jackson, California, small town, uh, in this little motel. We're gonna head out to Napa and then to San Francisco, and that will be the reaching of the Pacific. Yes. Oh, what a beautiful California morning, man. 58 degrees, no layers today, and I love it. This is perfect. This is the weather that I love to ride in. You know, when we get this weather in, in South Florida, which is in the middle of winter time, you know, 60 degrees is winter time in South Florida, so you guys know. Everybody's out on their bikes. It just doesn't get any better than this. Wine country. We will make it before lunch to Napa. The goal is to uh, stop at some winery, have some lunch, and uh, do some uh, wine tasting. What's up, man? Look. We made it to Napa. Ooh. Napa Valley. Castello di Amoroso here at the center of uh, Napa Valley. You can see the, the vineyards and behind you, check it out, it's the castle. It is said that all the bricks came from Italy. But our our resemble is from Russian River, so lighter, cooler climate is not too heavy. A lot of people like that, more elegant. Wow, what a great wine, man. Well, we just had a great time at the Castello da Morosa. Great wine, man, good experience. And now we're heading out to the coast, to San Francisco. My friends, the Pacific! Woohoo! <laughs> there it is, baby! We made it! Coast to coast! Oh man, that's so exciting. Oh, here is the stop right here. It's not official until we touch the ocean, right? Not official. So we are we're, we're there. This we gotta put we the bikes inside the water. <laughs> the that's how we do it. Right, right, right. Not that much. The Pacific, baby. Right now we're going through the redwood forest. We just saw the, the Pacific man and it was uh, breathtaking. Wow, I felt a little overwhelmed to be honest with you. Coast to coast, man. I know so many, 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 many people have done it. And you know, it's not such a big deal. For me, it's a big deal. And I just hope that I get to see uh, many, many more coasts in this lifetime from my motorcycle. There she is. We made it, brother. Isn't that a sight? There's a will, there is there's a, will. a way. As always, there is an accident in the Golden Gate. A few times that I've been here, it's always an accident in the Golden Gate. Baby, what happened here? What happened here? Wow, a very old bus. And what a beautiful day too. It's not every day that you get a clear and not super windy day here at the entrance of the bay. See that? No more land to cross. Yep. Full colors, man. Full colors. 
We have set out on an amazing journey across one of the most incredible countries in the world. And to celebrate, this is what we got. In this right here, I want to honor and I want to dedicate this bottle of wine to Miguelito. To Miguelito. You're here with us, buddy. Yes. That's you right there. We're going to drink you right now. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers. You. you see that? There's no more road. This is the end of the line of the amazing journey. Now we got to go to Vegas you know, yeah. to get the truck, <laughs> which is kind of like a, another adventure. <laughs> I want to tell my wife I love you and thank you for allowing me to do this and to my kids because without you, I wouldn't be here right now. I Salute! San Francisco. What a good night's nice sleep. We found a motel right here, downtown San Francisco, and it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was actually a pretty decent price, so we decided to stay in the city. And we're gonna head out to the Sierra Nevada, towards Yosemite. Beautiful San Francisco. Gotta love this city. And here we are, Lombardi Street, which obviously is always packed, but it's a highlight of anybody that comes to San Francisco. I'm telling you, San Francisco is not the city for people who don't like driving or riding or walking on inclined roads. I love it though. I grew up in Caracas in Venezuela and it's very steep too, so flat is boring. This is one steep street. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're about 9,000 feet of altitude, but man, I'm cold. I am very cold. Magnificent. people we are in Bishop California so yesterday we rode 290 some miles almost 300 miles uh, the last 50 some miles were at night but uh, we wanted to make it here so we decided you know, let's press on let's make it to Bishop so today we have 280 miles to go to Las Vegas goodbye Bishop until next time You probably can't see how steep it is, but it's very, very steep all the way down there. But if you actually look down there, that's the valley right there. One of the hottest places on earth. And right now it's actually cool, <laughs> but we're still close to 5,000 feet up. No, 4,000 feet up. crossing the, the road. Oh, <laughs> oh crap, that was wild. <laughs> 300 feet, 87 degrees, still going down. 20 feet, 18 feet, 11 feet, seven feet, five feet, one feet. And this thing doesn't go below zero? I guess it doesn't. All right, so we're definitely below sea level. 
Uh, it's uh, 91 degrees. I mean, it's hot, but it's not scorching hot. It's definitely bearable. More bearable than the cold, I can tell you that. It's completely bare. No wonder it's called Death Valley. Vegas! We've made it! This is pretty much it as far as uh, the motorcycle trip. Can't believe I'm gonna get off this bike in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna take my motorcycle uh, gear off. I won't be using it back until uh, we go on another ride in Florida. Scarlett, you've been amazing. This is how great this motorcycle is. I, don't, I have to count how many miles I've actually done on this trip. It's thousands of miles. The only thing that I've had in this motorcycle is my low beam light bulb went out. This whole time, that's the only thing that I've had. We're gonna go out tonight and we're gonna have some drinks and uh, we're gonna have a good time because we have to celebrate the fact that we accomplished what we set out to accomplish and that's what counts. Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, and right on amigos!